are a few things that I love more than tools, products, and websites that make my life easier, more productive, and more efficient. I love websites that do things well. And so today what I wanna talk about is the three best websites and best tools that you should look into if you're somebody who's wanting to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you're somebody who's wanting to start a YouTube channel. Maybe you're somebody that already has a YouTube channel but you wanna make it better. Maybe you're somebody that just wants more efficiency in their life. Whatever the case is, I'm gonna be talking about my three favorite tools that I use on my YouTube channel every single day and the best part is all of these tools have a free option. So if you don't want to spend money on a service, then these tools are for you. So let's get started. One of the most important aspects of a YouTube channel is the thumbnail. Thumbnails are so important because they are really the user's first glimpse into your channel and your video, and it's what the user sees that will then convince them to click. For me, I am still trying to master the art of thumbnails, and I feel like I've improved, but I still have a really long way to go, and I'm always looking to experts that can help me improve my thumbnails and create better thumbnails and better convince you guys to click on my videos. But with that, there is a couple of tools that can help you create better thumbnails. And two of these services are Canva and PicMonkey. Both of these websites have a both free version and a subscription version. For me personally, I used Canva for a really long time. I used both the free version and the paid version of Canva. But recently in the last few months, I've switched over to PicMonkey. And I think that PicMonkey is just significantly better than Canva but PicMonkey is more expensive at $15 per month. Both of these services, what they do is they are essentially kind of like an online Photoshop. They're not quite Photoshop and they don't really do exactly what Photoshop does, but they are an image editing software that you can use on your web browser. And for me, PicMonkey specifically has been a game changer in creating my thumbnails. I can import photos, I can remove background of photos, I can add outlines or shadows to images, I can just make my thumbnails better and I can have the flexibility to make good thumbnails without the skills that are required to use services like Photoshop. For anybody who knows nothing about graphic design, a service like PicMonkey is an absolute game changer because it allows for you to edit images on a highly skilled level without having the skills that you would typically need in order to do that. The thing I love about PicMonkey specifically is that you can categorize your images into different folders. So for me, I have a thumbnail image where I store all of my thumbnails that I've used for this channel. I also have graphics image. So if I use graphics in my thumbnails on a pretty consistent basis, I can store the images in that folder. I can also have video graphic thumbnails. So if I have a graphic that I put in a video, I can store it into PicMonkey, that way I can easily access it later on. PicMonkey is a great tool to make really good thumbnails with little to no skills and with no learning curve. So if you're somebody that doesn't wanna spend forever watching YouTube videos on graphic design or you don't wanna spend hours making a good thumbnail, PicMonkey and Canva are both really great tools to turn to. I would probably recommend PicMonkey over Canva. I personally think that PicMonkey is easier to use, it has more options and it has more customizations within the site, but Canva is cheaper than PicMonkey and the free version of Canva is better than the free version of PicMonkey. So if you're looking for a cheap photo editing software, definitely check out Canva. If you're willing to shell out $15 per month for a really good service, then I would recommend PicMonkey. Both of these services and websites will no doubt change the way that you create thumbnails. The second tool that I think is a really big game changer is TubeBuddy. Now there is a free version of TubeBuddy. There is also a paid version that costs $4.99 per month. $4.99 and I've used both versions. Uh, the free version is good, but it's limited. So if you're somebody who's going to be making videos a lot, like every single day, like I do, then I would probably do the paid version. I currently use the paid version, which is $4.99 and I really am happy with that purchase on a month by month basis. What TubeBuddy does is it allows for you to research keywords for your videos. So whenever you create a YouTube video, things like titles and tags are super important because that is what is being used in order for people to find your videos. If you search on YouTube, how to start an online business, you are searching for the keywords, how to start an online business. But YouTube needs to be able to find videos that fit that description. And the way that YouTube does this is by using tags and titles. And the way that you can research tags and titles is by using tools like TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy allows for you to analytically choose your keywords, your tags, and your descriptions so that you know that you're choosing the right words for the videos that you're wanting to create. Now, there is a lot of debate on how important things like tags and descriptions are in a YouTube video, and to be honest, I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if keywords and tags are super important to a video or if they're meaningless, and depending on who you ask, you'll get different answers. 
But for me as a creator that's wanting to grow and to wanting to reach new audiences, I wanna make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to reach that new audience. And with that, I use tools like TubeBuddy in order to research keywords, in order to choose good descriptions and good titles for my video. And with that, I think TubeBuddy is an excellent tool to do this. And for a price tag of either free or $4.99, you really can't get a much better tool for a cheaper price. My next favorite tool is a great tool to use if you're somebody who's wanting to try to find videos to make for your channel. Whenever you're somebody who's creating a new channel and you're wanting to find a new audience, one of the best ways to do that is to create videos around a topic or a subject that people are already searching for. Things like how-to videos are great ones, for example. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, and because of that, there are more and more people who are turning to YouTube for answers to questions that they have. For example, if you are looking at how to change a tire, what are you going to do if you don't know how to do that? You're going to YouTube it. You're going to look it up on YouTube and you're going to watch a video on it. And the same can go for anything. It can go for graphic design, it can go for starting a business, it can go for laying down flooring in your house. Whatever the case is, a lot of times if you have a question on how to do something, nowadays you look it up on YouTube rather than looking it up on Google. And because of that, things like how-to videos are extremely valuable in growing a channel. But one of the great tools in trying to figure out what to make these highly searched videos about is a tool called Keywords Everywhere. This is a free Chrome extension. It is free. There is no paid version that I've ever used. And what Keywords Everywhere does is it operates in the background of your internet browser. And whenever you Google something or search for something, Keywords Everywhere will pop up and tell you how many people are searching for similar topics. For example, if you go onto Google and you Google how to start a business, Keywords Everywhere will pop up in the right-hand corner of the screen and it will show you that over the last five years there has been a pretty consistent large inquiries on this search phrase. So a lot of people are searching how to start an online business. Underneath the chart showing the search trends, there is also alternative keywords and phrases that you could use. So if you're somebody that maybe doesn't want to say how to start an online business, Keywords Everywhere will give you alternate recommendations of what you could use instead of that exact search phrase. Keywords Everywhere is an excellent tool to use, and the fact that it's free is just icing on the cake. I would probably pay for this tool if it wasn't for free, but the fact that it's free just makes it so much better. But it's a great way for you to see at a glance what people are searching for and how often they're searching for it. It will give you great ideas on different video topics and it will also give you ideas for tags as well. So if you're somebody who isn't finding a whole lot of value in TubeBuddy for whatever reason, Keywords Everywhere could also be an alternative for that service as well. I feel like I could go on and on on different tools that I use for my YouTube channel. Another example would be Google Docs. I type all of my descriptions in Google Docs. That way I have them all handy if I need to copy and paste a new one into a new video. I also use Google Sheets in order to organize new video ideas and which videos I'm working on and which ones I'm already published and which ones that are scheduled. There are a number of different tools that I use for my channel in order to make it as efficient as possible. And between running the YouTube channel and doing daily videos here, plus my Turo business, plus the consulting business that I do, there is a lot to keep organized. And these tools here are ways that I'm able to do it really efficiently. So if you guys are interested in hearing more about the different tools that I use in my business, make sure to comment down below and I can definitely do another video on this subject. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video.